Hi, and welcome to this overview and demo of the new Amazon Inspector features for code security. In this video, I'll be taking you through this latest capability that lets you scan your code directly from your code repositories. For those who don't know, Amazon Inspector is a vulnerability management solution that has been delivering value since its launch, providing you with continuous vulnerability analysis against EC2 instances and container images stored in your Elastic Container Repository. In 2022, we expanded to provide customers the ability to scan Lambda layers and packages for potential vulnerabilities they were introducing through their functions. And in 2023, we followed up with scanning the actual Lambda function code itself. Here, we also went deeper into our compute visibility. Using EC2 deep inspection, Amazon Inspector detects package vulnerabilities for application program language packages in your Linux-based Amazon EC2 instances. We also gave customers the ability to execute scans without reliance on the Amazon Systems Manager agent. Last year, we announced a further move to help customers shift left with integrations into CICD tooling like Code Pipeline and Jenkins, allowing our customers to scan their container images directly in their pipeline, along with the option of extracting a software bill of materials that can be stored and later analyzed or queried. This brings us to today. Today, we allow you to shift even further left by allowing you to connect your code repositories directly into Inspector so that it can scan for code vulnerabilities. Across all this continuous coverage, we generate findings using the various sources in our vulnerability database and can further help to contextualize these risks using our network reachability analysis, helping you prioritize findings faster. Amazon Inspector Code Security provides a next step in vulnerability management helping you get consistent coverage of the security health of your applications before they get deployed into the cloud. With support for popular programming languages and infrastructure as code, Inspector will be able to provide proactive full stack visibility into vulnerabilities and misconfigurations, while providing actionable and prioritized code fix recommendations directly in the development workflow, while giving security teams full scope visibility across all code repositories. Amazon Inspector Code Security has three core capabilities. Our software composition analysis scans help you detect vulnerabilities in the third-party dependencies, libraries, and open source packages you may be using in your code. The static application security testing will give you visibility into the, scope, into the security of the code you write, looking for issues like hard-coded secrets or injection flaws. We also cover infrastructure's code scans, as we know many of you are building and managing your cloud resources using infrastructure's tools and frameworks. This will help you proactively identify misconfigurations or infrastructure, which, when created, could introduce risks and exposure. So how can this new capability help your operating process between your security and developers? Well, instead of developers having unfettered freedom in the development sprints, only to receive high number of findings from the security teams which often happens at the end of those sprints, this new functionality allows your security team to align directly with your developers, still giving them freedom, but within defined guardrails based on the results of those scans, whilst also providing the security teams a broad view of the security health of code across all repositories. This new governance process helps you move your security team away from a culture of no to a culture of yes within guardrails. Fundamentally, this is a step you can take to allow for enough flexibility to move fast and adopt new technologies, but also ensure sufficient visibility and control to do that within risk appetite. Let's jump into the console to take a look at how this works in action. Okay, so now I'm in my IDE and I have some pre-prepared vulnerable code here that we're going to use throughout this demo. First of all, I'm going to commit and push this up to my GitHub repository. After which we'll connect the inspector code security features to the GitHub account in order for it to be able to scan the code and identify the various vulnerabilities across first-party code, my dependencies, and the infrastructure as code. Let's take a quick look at my GitHub repository, and we can see that the code has been successfully pushed. The next step now would be to connect the new Amazon Inspector code security functionality into this account so it can pull in the repositories and start scanning our code. First of all, let's have a look at the new Inspector code security console. We can navigate to Inspector and we see on the left-hand side a new section that will open up the code security functionality. As we can see, no integrations or scan configurations yet, so let's set up the connection. For this video, I'll connect with GitHub. The default scan configuration will be applied to all existing repositories you connect to, as well as any future ones which get added to your GitHub or GitLab environment. 
As you can see in this default scan configuration, Amazon inspectors support scans on a specific schedule or Git based such as a pull request or push to main. You can also create custom scan configurations that match specific existing repositories through inclusion tags. Here, we'll leave all settings as default, meaning I have full coverage of SAS, SEA and IAC scans, both on a schedule as well as whenever there are any direct pushes to the main branch or pull requests. We'll authorize the connection with GitHub and we need to install the new inspector app in our GitHub account. To do this, I can just click on install new app, which will redirect me to my, to my GitHub account for the installation. I also have the option here to choose all repositories or select individual ones. We'll go ahead and select all of them. Once done, I get redirected back into our inspector console and we'll wait a minute or two for the integration to get stitched behind the scenes and our repositories get pulled in. It's been a couple of minutes and now I see all my repositories from my GitHub account in the inspector console. We'll see they've been automatically added to the default scan configuration, but they show as inactive. That's because a scheduled or event-based scan has not yet been triggered. We'll do that in a moment. We can look at the details of a specific repository, which tells us more about the time and date of the last scan, any associated findings count and more. For now, let's go back and we're gonna trigger a manual on-demand scan to see if there's any vulnerable code in this repository. All right, we've given this a few more minutes now for the findings to come through. And we can see we have a number of critical, high and medium findings across this repository. We can also see, if we select our repository, that details are now populating into the overview metadata. In this case, the time of the last on-demand scan. As we browse through, we can look at all the findings ordered by severity. If we select a single finding, it will open up the sidebar, which introduces additional information about that finding. What type it is, either a code or package vulnerability, which lines of code it affects, as well as possible code recommendations or suggested remediation actions. These can be downloaded directly from Inspector and shared with developers if needed. Amazon Inspector also shows package vulnerabilities. As in this example, we see a vulnerable library installed and the lowest recommended version in which this issue is fixed. Now let's go ahead and review the behavior if I make a direct push to the main branch in this repository. Here, I've added some infrastructure as code which creates a misconfigured S3 bucket with a policy that allows access from any principal. Going back into the Amazon Inspector console, we can now see that this repository shows as active. That's because the push to the main triggered a scan under the default scan configuration. This has also populated the exact commit ID that has been scanned and shows the date of the scan. If I now sort by newest findings, we can see that a new critical vulnerability has appeared. And again, looking at the details, it will show me the lines of code affected and possible code recommendations or suggested remediation actions. Finally, let's observe the behavior for when a developer creates a pull request from a feature branch. I'll go ahead and insert some vulnerable code into my main Python app file, as well as some hard-coded access keys into my Terraform file. I'm gonna commit this, and I'm gonna push this into my development branch. Flipping over to the GitHub console, I can see my new branch and I can look for and review my associated changes. From here, I can directly raise a pull request. And what happens is that the Amazon Inspector app will automatically start to scan the new code and inject new comments directly into the pull request. We can see here within a few minutes that we have fast direct feedback to the developers without asking them to change their workflow or move away from the desired location where they work. This allows you to build additional governance or guardrails, such as automatically rejecting a pull request if there are any critical or high findings and automatically merging if no issues are found. Let's recap the key features of Amazon Inspector code security. We flag vulnerable dependencies in open source and third party packages through our software composition analysis, helping you understand your dependencies and their security implications, which is critical in today's development environment. We also help you scan your code across your entire technology stack to find vulnerabilities. 
The scanning covers your application code and infrastructure's code, giving you complete visibility into potential security issues. Across these scan types, Amazon Inspector supports popular infrastructure's code languages like AWS CloudFormation, AWS CDK, and Terraform, as well as popular programming languages such as Python, .NET, PHP, and JavaScript. Finally, we help generate code fixes that are aligned to security best practices. This isn't just about finding problems, it's about helping your teams resolve them quickly and effectively. You can now receive actionable security insights early in the, in the development process, where fixes are less costly and disruptive to implement. These capabilities work together to help you build applications faster and more securely, from code to cloud. If you want to learn more, please refer to the documentation in the description below, or visit aws.amazon.com forward slash inspector. Thank you.